The 2000s saw a fantasy movie boom, with successful projects like Harry Potter and The Lord of the Rings paving the way for more feature films within the genre, though not all lived up to these adaptations, and one $372 million flop even became the 2000s' biggest fantasy disappointment. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and The Fellowship of the Ring both hit theaters in 2001, and these releases didn't just spawn successful franchises in their own right. They also changed the game for the fantasy genre overall, proving that the investment required to bring such stories to life could actually pay off. Sadly, this wasn't true for every fantasy movie that came out during this time period, and several of the films that attempted to capitalize on the Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings craze ended up failing. 2002's movie adaptation of Aragon proved a box office disaster. 2009's Inkheart and the Percy Jackson movies of the 2010s were also disappointments. Some of the best fantasy TV series, including Game of Thrones and The Wheel of Time, have suggested that the small screen is a better fit for certain stories. This was the case for one 2000s fantasy franchise that had everything it needed to succeed and still missed the mark. The Golden Compass had almost everything needed to be a major fantasy hit. The Golden Compass. The Golden Compass was a movie adaptation of Philip Pullman's novel of the same name, and it hit theaters in 2007, right in the midst of the 2000s fantasy boom. The film had everything it needed to succeed, from a hefty $180 million budget, via box office mojo, to excellent casting and source material to pull from. Pullman's books were bestsellers with an established fan base, and they outlined a lush fantasy tale that could easily jump to the screen. The budget didn't prevent the filmmakers from bringing the book's more fantastical elements to life, and the movie had examples to follow since it came out during the late 2000s. In addition to having a great story to tell, The Golden Compass featured a truly great cast. Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig played the main character's parents, Mrs. Coulter and Lord Israel, giving the fantasy film star power that should have helped it succeed. Sir Ian McKellen also voiced the giant bear, Ayarek Bernison, rounding out the cast with more impressive talent. Sadly, even an all-star cast couldn't save The Golden Compass from becoming one of the biggest fantasy disappointments of the 2000s. What went wrong with The Golden Compass movie? Lyra and Mrs. Coulter at the table in The Golden Compass. Even though the movie had a lot going for it, The Golden Compass proved a box office failure and a disappointment to fans of the source material. The movie only made $372 million at the worldwide box office, which wasn't ideal given its larger budget. It also received a critic score of 42% and an audience score of 51% on Rotten Tomatoes, highlighting that neither group was particularly fond of the adaptation. The fact that it adapted beloved books was part of the problem, as The Golden Compass didn't seem all that interested in doing Pullman's story justice. Despite the impressive cast and acting, the actual plot of The Golden Compass didn't live up to its novel counterpart. Not only did it change major events from the source material, including the first book's tragic ending, but The Golden Compass dropped many of the crucial themes explored in Pullman's His Dark Materials. Lyra's story questions and critiques religion, something the movie avoids doing, likely because it would have sparked backlash from certain viewers and organizations. Unfortunately, this made the film feel like a completely different entity than the books, eliminating any chance of winning diehard fans over. Thankfully, The Golden Compass got a second chance, and took it. The Golden Compass may have been a disappointment, but Pullman's story got a second chance in the form of a TV show. BBC and HBO's His Dark Materials gave the books another life on screen, and the series made up for the problems with the original adaptation. The casting and acting was just as impressive, and the story stuck closely to that of the books. All three seasons of His Dark Materials packed a powerful punch, taking the characters, and those watching, on an emotional ride. His Dark Materials proved itself leagues ahead of the Golden Compass, and it's not the only adaptation to fare better on TV.